Images from 9-11 are still chilling, even 10 years after the attacks shook the world. They triggered the war on terror, but in the country that's been at the front line of that war, it can be hard sometimes to find people who remember why foreign troops arrived in the first place. We continue our special coverage of the 9-11 anniversary with this report from Afghanistan. Helmand in southern Afghanistan is the province that has borne the brunt of the fighting between the Taliban and coalition forces. What would Afghans in this war-torn province think about 9-11 and its consequences? While on patrol with the Marines, I get a first opportunity to ask a couple of young Afghan men what they know about 9-11. Yeah. No, they never heard about this. Yeah. Can you show them a few more? And can you ask them, do they know where it is even? We don't know, so that's cause because we're a farmer. We never heard about anything else about the world. Big time motorcycles coming through. The two young men had clearly never heard of 9-11. But maybe the elders at a local shore would have more to say. Yeah. No, they didn't see it. Uh -huh. They're saying I seem to just can see the smoke from the buildings and that's it. That's the only thing I can say. When you guys show us this picture, that guy is saying it's, uh, I think that was a Kabul. If I had just gotten here, I would have been surprised. But uh, having been here now for six months, I'm not. This is pretty much the Stone Ages where we are. And what, what did you think about their reactions? Oh, I thought it was fascinating. The, the guy who said it was Kabul was clearly he'd never been to Kabul. And it just shows you how isolated they are, even in their own country. The America, Afghanistan come to this point and they get the airplane from here to attack in the United States. They don't have that much power. It was nice to go from Iraq to then here. It was a lot easier to understand, you know, why you're here and you know, bring yourself. You had that picture. You can always pick up the picture to remind yourself, okay, this is why we're here. And to see the Afghans looking at it in this context while wearing the uniform and carrying the rifles. It was, uh, took me back. They're saying the Americans saying, uh, we're going to help you. They destroy one building and they destroy us how many buildings? And they say, we're going to help you. Where is the help? They're saying they give it to our kids a gun and to go fighting and they give it to their own kids a pen and paper to write down and read and write. I do sympathize or understand what you know, some of them were saying is even just from the weather we've had recently, people losing their homes and nobody's here to help them. So you know, when, you have, when you can't even feed yourself or, or, or house yourself, how are you going to care about somebody you know, 6,000 miles away? So I can understand that. But I never thought to, to ask those questions of, uh, of anybody here as to why we're here. Amazingly, in a country where for 10 years a war has been fought with 9-11 as its root cause and justification, it turns out not only were the villagers oblivious to 9-11, but so were the Afghan police and even some of the translators working with the U.S. military. But you don't know the history of this? Uh, no, I have, have no idea about the Syrian leaks. Have you ever seen these pictures before? No, I didn't. A survey taken in 2010 by the International Council on Security and Development found that 92% of Afghan men in Helmand and other Afghan provinces had no idea what 9-11 was. With American troops set to start withdrawing this year, it seems likely that they will leave Afghanistan without the vast majority of Afghans ever having really understood why they came in the first place. Adam Pletz from Afghanistan for RT. Yeah, no. And on our website, rt.com, reporter Adam Pletz recalls how he came up with the idea of filming that story. He talked about how U.S. Marines once told him of a day when the moon was high over an Afghan village, and the Marines told the elders how the United States had sent a man to the moon, and they got laughter in reply. That made Adam wonder what else the Afghans didn't know. Read more about his recollections, complete with pictures, at rt.com, part of our continuing special coverage of the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. A terrorist attack that became synonymous with pure evil. The senseless slaughter of almost 3,000 people stunned the world. And it all seemed like a nightmare. Ten years on, RT remembers the attacks and its aftermath. A look back at 9-11 on RT.